Good evening, everyone. We did it. We filled up 2016 Panini Black Gold Football 4-Box Half Case Pick Your Team number 14 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. I had, I had no doubt about it. I knew it would fill. So here it is, break 14. Remember, I marked the boxes from that previous break 13 that we opened up, so we all know it's from the same case. A very big thank you very much for people staying up this late with me on a Saturday night and, and breaking. Richard Johansson gets the Rams, last spot mojo. Stephen K got the Eagles. Those are the last two teams left, and they were the big teams. So thanks for grabbing them, you guys. Thanks to everybody for helping fill up this break. Great late night rally. Love it. Now looking at the time, I think this might actually be the last break of our night. Unless, here's what I'll do. Unless we do something quick. I can do something quick. Because this break probably brings us to the top of the hour. What about Fanatics, Under Wraps, Next Level, Autograph Baseballs? I can do that. That doesn't take very long. What about, what about, yeah, Upper Deck Supreme Hardcore. That's a great idea, Alfred. That's like one box. I got, I got them. They're just right over there. Actually, you can point to those right over there. There's the two boxes right there. Two left from that case. We can do that. Um, and like Panini Prime Hockey. That doesn't take very long either. Yeah, another hockey maybe. So, so we can do one. Not all. We can do one more after this. We'll use this blank card right here to slow play some of the hits here. Good luck, everybody. We got Golden Arms, Brett Favre, out of 100. Oh, for a second I thought it said 197 out of 100. But it's just 97 out of 100. I was like, Panini. You done goofed. But no, they, they done fine. Packers, Ed Aarons. There's Stefan Diggs to 225. Can you dig it? Eric Schmidt with the Vikings. We've got... I've got two cards because there's that one's a redemption. This one is Cody Kessler, Connor Cook, Dak Prescott, Cardell Jones, three of four who are probably have no chance of starting. I think Cody Kessler just got released this week. I don't know what Connor Cook's doing. Cardell Jones, he might still be backing up Phillip Rivers. No, but they drafted a quarterback. And obviously Dak Prescott's solid. All right, and back here is Tyler Boyd. Out of 199, quad relic for the Bengals. Scott with the Bengals. Oh, that's the randomizer pile. Redemption is Michael Thomas. Nice. I know that's expired, Saints, but... Um, Sizable signatures, rookie jersey, nice. I know it's expired, Karen, but as I say all the time, Panini's pretty good about honoring expired redemptions one way or another. Might take a little bit, but they'll eventually make it right. All right. We got Dak Prescott. Do you pay Dak Prescott? You kind of have to, right, Cowboys fans? Or football fans in general? He wants like $30 million a year, which seems like a lot for Dak Prescott. But then Derek Carr is getting a lot of money too. <laughs> There's David Johnson. Those quarterback contracts are all going to be crazy. I think every contract that gets signed is going to break records, right? And, and, like, the market, I think, kind of screwed themselves. David Johnson for the Cardinals. You know, Matt Ryan got paid. You know, and then, 
Matt Ryan got paid, and I think Derek Carr got the big contract after that, and then Kirk Cousins got the big deal with the Vikings, and then no, and then uh, Aaron Rodgers signed his his deal, or maybe it started with Stafford. Stafford signed his deal, then it was Ryan Matt Ryan, you know, then it was Carr, then it was uh, Kirk Cousins, then it was Aaron Rodgers, then it was Russell Wilson. And they'll look at those contracts. They just keep getting higher and higher and higher. There's Dan the Man Marino. He never saw that kind of money. 14 out of 15 Shadowbox watches. That goes to Ellie and the Dolphins. There you go, Ellie. So, so now you look at someone like Dak Prescott. We're like, okay, let, let me... There's Cody Kessler, Jersey and Auto, grand debut autograph to 149. But the but the the market has gone crazy, and Dak Prescott's a solid quarterback. Chris Moore for the Ravens, but is he a thirty million dollar year quarterback? Maybe. <laughs> right, yeah. Alfred, Dan Marino probably never saw that kind of money and probably better than everyone we've mentioned. Is better than everyone we mentioned. Isn't that crazy? I mean, that's it's economics. You know, chances are you're going to make more than your parents in your lifetime. It's all relative, I guess, but... Dak needs Scott Boris as an agent. No, well, Scott Boris got Manny Machado 300 mil. Got Bryce Harper his money too. If I wanted to make money, I'd have I'd have him be my agent too. I think I saw points in there. If there's any more than these, it'll be winner take all on the points. Now Sam. I, oh, yeah, Sam's a Cowboys guy. He says, anything under 30 mil is a win in my book. Four years, 100 mil? Oh, that's not going to happen. You got to hope that, like, Jerry and, and and the gang can convince him, hey, if you spend less, if you take less, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can pay Amari. Maybe we can pay Leighton Van Der Esch in a few years. Maybe we can pay Zeke too. You know, and we'll pay you again because Zeke's career is going to be shorter than Dak's career. So you got to kind of, kind of work that out a little bit. But he's got to buy into it. It's times like this where you wish you. The coach doesn't. You know what I mean? Garrett, Garrett Jason Garrett doesn't help. Like if Jason Garrett was like a was like coaching royalty or something like that, right? He'd be able to make that case. He's like, hey, stick with me. Trust me. I'm Jason Garrett. Can't say that. Take less, you know? There's Kevin Green to 25. Not too many coaches that can do that, right? Belichick. That's about it. McVay, maybe? Could, could start to maybe have that kind of leverage. Maybe not. Aaron Donald still got paid. There's Kevin Green. Nice Kevin Green for the Panthers. That'll be for Mark B. We got Cole Beasley. Shadow box watches. 12 out of 15 for Jacqueline and the Cowboys. I think Garrett needs to go. I was, I'm never a, I was never a big fan of Jason. I have no problem with the Cowboys. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an AFC guy. Not like the other guys here, Sam. Nick Jaspi is an Eagles guy, so is his dad. Jason Jaspi runs eBay. He does he's an Eagles fan too. So you're kind of an enemy territory. Boom! Jared Goff. Metallic Marks, Gold Ink Autograph. 74 out of 99. Richard Johansson with the Rams. Last spot mojo. Nice. And we got Paul Perkins, Golden Ground Game Relic, out of 199. 
Rookie gold mine, Joey Bosa, 225. Family who's just genetically predisposed to play football. We got Eddie George to 100. See, it's scary. These these running. Think about how good Eddie George was for like like a short amount of time. It's scary with these running backs. How quickly their career. It's kind of sad. Quickly their careers can be shortened as opposed to the other position players. Paxson Lynch, quad relic. To 199, that is for uh, George and the Broncos. Oppo Joe Mojo. And we've got Gilded Signatures, Jermaine Curse. 132 out of 199 for the Seahawks. And that'll be for Donald. Donald Brazier and the Hawks. When are they going to give Russell Wilson some help? He needs receivers. He needs linemen. He needs another person that can run the ball. All right, I got to look up the numbers, Alfred, but it's crazy. Like, you know, like Dak Prescott, right? His career is going to be, you know, knock on wood, as long as he's healthy. I don't want anyone to get injured, but as long as he's healthy... You know, even if he's just an average quarterback, he can still he can still start in the NFL for a lot of teams for like 10, 15 years, twenty years. Look look how look how look how long Ryan Fitzpatrick has been in the league. You know. And Prescott has a good arm too. I think that's going to help. So once his once he gets older, his legs, his speed kind of leaves, and he can still. I think he can still sling it. Maybe work on his accuracy a little bit, and then boom. He'd be, he could be a pocket quarterback. Speaking of the Cowboys, some old legends there. Roger Staubach, Troy Aikman, even Tony Romo, 225. I like Tony, I think everyone likes Tony Romo in the booth, right? In the broadcast booth. Talk about living your best life. You know, he's just he's just cool, casual, <laughs> killing it in the broadcast booth. You know, almost a scratch golfer. Kurt Warner to 225. Darren Schmidt with the Redbirds. More Cardinals. There's Golden Hands. Definitely Golden Hands. Larry Fitzgerald. 20 out of 99. I feel like Larry Fitzgerald. I, I know he's a Arizona Cardinal institution, but he's got to go somewhere, right? Go to a contender. Try to get a... Try to get a... Uh, try to get an, a, a chip, right? Try to get a Super Bowl ring. There's Laquan Treadwell. Where could he go? At a 225, sizable signatures. Where is it reasonable for? Who's who's a who's a vet a veteran receiver away from a Super Bowl? Patriots. Russell Wilson could use a Larry Fitzgerald, right? And what do we have here? Some Eagles. There's Ryan Matthews. And then Wendell Smallwood, 47 out of 99 golden opportunity. Fits the Pats have been a thing forever, right? Yeah. I mean, how many more years, how many more years is Larry Fitzgerald having him? I mean, if he's in the if he's in the right system where he does he's not necessarily the lead receiver. You know, he can still be very effective. There's Joey Bosa again for the Chargers, Glenn. Or 
Earl Campbell, nice, 48 out of 50. Old Oilers, my uncle. Uncle Charles was an old Oilers fan before they left Houston and broke his heart. And then he turned into a Cowboys fan. Right, Drew saying, hey, he's also a slot guy. No more Gronk, makes sense. Jared Goff versus Carson Wentz. Out of 199, that's another randomizer. Right, I do like the loyalty for, for him to stay with one team too. It's very rare in this day and age. But I feel like the Cardinals should just be like, we're going to trade you to a contender. That's how much we love you. <laughs> you know, we love you enough to let you go. Please go get a ring, Larry Fitzgerald. You need that on your on your resume. Gold strike autographs. Andre Reed, that's nice. One out of 99. Who's got Buffalo Bills? Sanford. Sanford, you've been doing pretty well tonight in these breaks. Buffalo! And we've got Gary Barnage. Out of 199. Gilded signatures. For the dog pound, Scott B with the Browns. All right, last box coming up. Good luck, everybody. I did not, Grover. I had it written down, but I didn't put any action on it. Did it happen? Yep, Rose knocked out cold in round two. I guess if this whole case breaking thing fails, you guys, I could become a UFC fighter, right? I can do that. Pretty easy. Be probably pretty good at it. <laughs> All right, last two packs. We've got for the New York Football Giant Sterling Shepard to 100. If the whole case breaking thing doesn't work out. I can do it. What would my what? Who could I who could I fight? The first guy I would fight. I don't even I don't even know what the what the weight classes are. Um, mm -hmm. No, not that. No, I could probably get away with Man, these guys are these guys are pretty tough. Like how tall how tall is Conor McGregor? He's five nine. I'm about Pacquiao size. <laughs> yeah, Pacquiao can do it. Anyhow. Stay tuned for that. Um, out of 225, Demarius Tom That might be more my speed, Rex. I think you're right. <laughs> Rex is like, I could see you be the new the new star of Blue's Clues. That's probably, that's probably more my speed. I should stay in my lane. There goes, there goes my Rex raining on my UFC career. Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, Ezekiel Elliott, Derrick Henry. That's a good rookie, Tetrad. 36 out of 149. That's another randomizer. Wait, is there an opening? I'll do Blue's Clues.
There's DeAndre Washington. Nice. Little silver and black patch. Gold ink autograph. 57 out of 99. Nice. The Raiders. David Batson with my Raiders. We're all looking for blues clues. We're all looking for blues clues. Right? I could write things in my handy dandy notebook. I can do all that. We've got a dual relic right here. Antonio Gates and Hunter Henry. Golden opportunity. 52 out of 99. Do all that. Easy. Work on a green screen. Out of 225, Tom Brady, Gronkowski, and Julian Edelman. I need more, more of these top loaders. Blues clues because we're very smart. They're making a new one? Huh. Maybe I should go audition for that, Rex. You know? Be like, hey, let's get uh let's get some uh let's get some Korean American flavor on that on that show. Seven out of ten. Kevin Green. Group breaker and blues clues guy. New business card already. Jared Goff. Gold prospecting quad relic to one ninety nine. The Goffinator. The Goffster. JG. For Richard Johansson and the Rams. Tyler Irvin, jersey and gold ink autograph. Nice, sizable signature for the Tehans. 257 to 225. Chris Parent with the Texans. And last but not least, probably the triple relic, Mother Load or something like that. No, gold prospecting quad relic, Leonte Carew. Out of 99 for the Dolphins. That goes to Ellie. So a couple relics for you, Ellie. Some nice color in that bottom left-hand corner. Piece of the pig skin. Oh, that's a catch. And there you go, folks. Gold standard in the books. Let's do some randos here. Let's do some randos. Let's do the randos. Grover saying that, that, wow, the Brazilians were chanting to the Americans, you're going to die? What are they, what are they, Drago? If he dies, he dies. That's brutal. That's all right. Hey, I, I, I am a pseudo-internet star, Grover. You don't think we've seen worse in our YouTube comments? Cleveland, Oakland, Dallas, Buffalo. I can handle it. If he dies, he dies. And of course, everyone has a shot at the points. All right. Rando time. Good luck. Nine times. Three and a six. Nine times for each list. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That quad relic goes to Cleveland. All 
All right, next one is Rams Eagles. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, goes to the Rams. Richard Johansson with this quad relic right here to 199, two color quad relic. All right, next one. Nine times for that uh, rookie Tet Red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time goes to the Dallas Cowboys. That goes to Jacqueline and the boys. 36 out of 149. I don't know. If, I don't know if pugs and jugs would be on my would be on brand for me, Rex. Unless it's about uh, unless it's about water jugs. All right, and everyone has a shot at the points after nine times. Name on top gets it. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that box at, uh, after this too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time, name on top, Stephen K, consolation prize, 250 points coming your way. There you go, folks. That was uh, the second half of 2016 Panini Black Gold Football. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break on jazzpiececasebreaks.com.